this out, y'all. You can either do evil. You can either do evil or good in this world. And unfortunately, what the fuck does that do? That? Shit, it's irritating as fuck, man. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh, you know what I'm hey, I'm back, man. Um, I'm motivated right now, so I'm, I got to keep dropping these videos for y'all, man. I'm hoping that y'all can hear me because I'm trying to do it with the music. Let me turn down a little bit more. Fuck it. We're going to talk about why men who cheat have rotations and I honestly forget the other thing I said it'll come to me in a minute there was three things I said I think one one was rotation somebody somebody comment the other because I can't see the uh I can't see the title of the uh, video so somebody help me out rotation cheating and there was another one I can't think I can't see it I need y'all to help me out with the other one so I can really make this video how I'm making it Please comment the other thing to the title that I'm, that, that I'm trying to tell y'all. Cheating, rotation, and oh, because they don't care, I think. I think it's the ones that don't care. So we're going to get into this, man. And, and, and this is going to be knowledge for women because they, they subconsciously don't even know they're doing it. Some do, but most don't. They subconsciously don't know this. Just like some men subconsciously don't know that they are um, making women not attracted to them by doing these things. When you have a rotation of women, right? When a man has a rotation of women, more than likely, there's not just one woman that he likes so much. That's why he has a rotation in the first place. And more than likely, he is not trying to have one woman. That's why he has a rotation in the first place. Same thing with a man who cheats. The only difference is when a man cheats, he doesn't want a, a full-time rotation. He wants that safety net of having that woman there all the time to give him sex and comfort and shit. That's the difference. It's really beta if you're going to do that. I'm not saying it's beta if you have a relationship, but it's beta if you want a main chick and then have side chicks. You might as well just have rotations of girls. The reason why the, beta, the so reason why it's beta is because you're scarcely mindset. Oh man, if, if I don't have a girl at home, I won't be able to get no pussy. Nobody won't be able to get me a number like somebody just put a number into Juan's uh, work shirt that he just took off because it's hot now. Yeah, you, you're scared of that. But let's get back to it. Why is it more attractive to women? Because when you don't really care, when you don't really care, or you come off, I still don't think that's the third thing I was saying. See, y'all not helping me out. That's some bullshit, man. But anyway, we just go with the two then. Fuck it. Either way, I'm still going to break this shit down. It don't matter. When you have a rotation, remember, you can choose two ways in life. Either good or evil. Right? The Most High is going to reward you if you do good. The Satan going to reward you if you do bad. What's bad? Having a rotation of chicks. How is it bad? Because you're not, they're not all your wives. Now, some of y'all going to pull out Bibles and all that and say that all them guys had multiple wives. Yeah, but they, but they treated them all like wives, not like just rotations, right? 
But let's get back to why it's attractive to women. Because when you don't have a rotation, that means you're only dealing with that woman, right? And that means you only want to deal with that woman. And your energy is going to come off as he's the all I got. I'm, I'm all he's got. I'm all he wants. So since your, your energy comes off like that, uh, he's not a challenge. I already won. I no longer want him. They subconsciously do this. Some of them do it purposely, but some of them subconsciously do it. I, nobody, there's no girls, there's no drama. There's no drama, so I don't want nothing to do with it. Or they think, since you want one woman and no rotation, nobody else wants you. And that's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. And on the other side, they think, well, he's got a whole bunch of women, so everybody must want this motherfucker. That's not the case, man. That man put himself out there with all those women to be having all those women. Every man don't want to do that shit. Some men just want to grind and, and focus on shining and, and have one solid woman. Why can't women register this shit in their fucking heads? You know why? Because you're dealing with the devil. The devil doesn't want you to have that, man. So as a man, you got a, you got a decision to make, nigga. You gonna take the devil's side and get a whole bunch of girls, or you gonna take God's side and choose one solid woman? And I'm telling you right now, if you take God's side, a lot of women gonna be unattracted to you because you only wanna deal with them, and there's no competition, there's no uh, drama, and you're at their every text and all that. They don't want that, man. Only solid women who actually want to be with a man like that want that. But most of them don't. So you're going to lose out on women, I promise you. Matter of fact, making this video is going to cost me women. And I don't give a fuck. Why? Because I know I'm a handsome guy. I know I'm a catch. I know all it takes is one woman. And that's all that deserves me anyway. To be honest. So it don't matter. I'm making this video for y'all. For all you men out there that struggle with women and can't get a number stuff stuffed in your pocket like I just did. That's just what it is. Or don't, women don't tell you you're handsome everywhere you go. Every day a woman tells me I'm handsome. Everywhere I fucking go. But that don't mean, I go, oh, oh, I'm a, uh, man, God, you made me handsome. So now I'm just going to abuse that and I'm just going to fuck a bunch of women. Or God, I got money. I got a whole bunch of money. I'm going to abuse that and I'm just going to fuck a whole bunch of women. See, you got a decision to make. Go ahead and do that. A lot of y'all, you you blessed, you got looks and money and all that. Go ahead and take advantage of what God has put, the position God put you in. And listen to the devil and, and start acting like you're swagged out and start getting a rotation and all that. And yeah, women are going to be more attracted to you because they're going to sense that. Women can sense when there's other women around. They can sense it. It's in their biological DNA, dog. And when they sense, well, he's the, I'm the only one um, he dealing with, I don't want him because they think in their small brains <laughs> that if you choose to deal with one woman, no other woman wants you. It's crazy. But this is what they think. And all the cheater is, the man he is, is he's a person with rotation, but he does it in a beta way. He wants that woman to run to every night and the one to do his laundry and all that shit like a big baby. That's all. The real alpha, he, he like, fuck all that. I, I can take care of myself. But back to what I'm saying about why they think it's more strong. I'm back. My shit fucked up. Women are looking for a strong men, right? So when you come off of, I like you, I want to do this and that for you, you become weak to them. Even though it's a strength. Why does a man got to sell his fucking soul and fuck every woman walking for a woman to think he's an alpha? Because if you don't do this, you're gonna come off as she's the only one you want to deal with. Whether you can get other options or not, that's irrelevant. They're gonna sniff that shit the fuck out because it's in their biological DNA. And your energy is gonna come across as the game's over, I won, nobody else is there in the competition, I don't want him no more. But what women don't get in their small brains, just because a man is not making you compete, 
it doesn't mean that there isn't competition. If you got a solid ass dude, you think that a woman ain't gonna run up and stuff the, her number in his uh, shirt pocket like they just did me? You think that's not gonna happen? You're out your fucking mind. So go ahead and think, well, since he only wants me, it's over with and he and, and the competition is not there still there. You still got a job to do. My bad, y'all. I'm in a country and this shit is bullshit, man. Anyways, back to business. It's not that the woman likes the bad guy. The guy that don't give a fuck about her. It's not that. It's the stimulation, man. You can't just keep a woman happy and don't do shit wrong. Oh, no. If you do that, you losing her. The only way you're going to be able to pull that off is she's grounded by God, by the Most High. There is no other way. If she's not solidly strong and close to the Most High, it's a wrap because she's she has to have that drama to stimulate her emotions up and down. Not straight across emotions? No, nah, that's not good enough, sir. Up, down, up, down. I love you. I punched your face. I love you. I did this. I cheated. That's why the cheater gets her and you don't. The good guy? Yeah, you, you get cheated on. So does the cheater probably more than likely, right? Or you get left. You get left. You weak. Because you want to love a woman. You're weak because you want to love a woman. But yet a man who can't even control his, his sexuality and can't control the temptation of not sleeping with a bunch of women is somehow perceived as some strong guy. And the only reason why is because he doesn't give a fuck about the women. So since he doesn't care about the women, he comes across as he must have a lot of options or... He's not worried about me. He, he, he not texting my phone or this or that. So he must be so strong and so this. And the guy who actually cares, he must be so weak and, and, and can't get no options. It, it's all wrong in their brains, man. And it's because they're not grounded by God. If they're grounded by God, women would know better. The women who are grounded by God understand what a man is supposed to do and how a man is supposed to treat them. It's the devil that got them believing this other bullshit, man. And they falling for it. They eat it. It don't make a man strong because he's running around causing drama and cussing and all that bullshit. What the fuck? That don't make him strong, man. Or because he's ignoring you. Anybody can ignore somebody. Especially if they got a rotation. But the man that solidly doesn't need a whole bunch of women to make him feel a certain way is actually the stronger guy. Because he stands alone. And if you let decide to leave him, he would have to stand alone. He wouldn't have other options to fall back on and comfort himself. But yet, they think that's the strong guy, so let him believe that. They think that's the alpha, let him believe that. He don't come across as needy because he's texting other women. That don't mean he's not needy. The motherfucker real needy. That's why he got a whole bunch of women in his life instead of chasing his purpose. And as far as the cheating, it's the same thing. It's just on a different level, y'all. The so-called, it's just a beta way of having a rotation. I got a woman at home, but I wanted to sleep with other women on the side. I, I just want to make sure that I got a woman to do my laundry and always be there to hold and kiss and, and play cupcake. That's all it is. But he still got a rotation. It's just a different type of rotation. It's not a, it's not a, I don't have a main girl room rotation. It's a beta way of doing it. So you might ask, well, what makes her stay with him? Or why does she leave the good guy? Because the emotional stimulation. This guy's causing um, negativity. He, he treats her good too. He, he shows the love side, but then he shows the negative side. She needs that. She needs the drama. Go ask her. You think I'm lying? Go ask a woman right now. I bet about 99.9% .9 of them. You need drama in a relationship because if not, it becomes boring. That's the devil talking to them, man. That's the devil in their mind. Ain't no woman or guy going to think like that. I need negativity to make my marriage work. Who the fuck does that? You ever heard of taking a fucking cruise or a, a going on a vacation to stimulate your fucking mind? Do that. 
It ain't always about I'ma smoke and drink and, and cause drama to be happy in a fucking relationship. And if I if I don't get that from a man, he's either weak or some other dumb shit, whatever they think, man. It's ridiculous. So in other words, man, when you become, when you do what the most high wants you to do, you're gonna lose a lot of women. But you will get that, you will get the right woman, but you're not gonna get women. Remember that, you're gonna get the right woman, you're not gonna get women though. You got a choice to make. And a lot of y'all think that you're not suffering when you choose the wrong way. Because you're a man, you think you're getting over, you the one, I'm fucking her, she's the one suffering, you suffer too in the end, just like her. But they never gonna pick the, the good guy because good is not in most women. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Just like a lot of men pick the wrong women. You got good women, it's the opposite. When, when you got good women, you usually see them crying about some bad dude. Because it's really not, and matter of fact, matter of fact, maybe that bad dude don't even deserve a good woman. Maybe God is showing you a blessing of them not liking you. So they don't, so they don't um, convince you to be with them and hurt you. Could be a blessing in disguise. I've never seen uh, bad women like me. It's always been decent women. Very rare do bad women, I mean bad women, very rare do bad women like me. Because I don't give off that type of energy. And I don't give off the I'm a player, let's go do this, let's go smoke, let's go fucking speed somewhere and get speed and ticket, whatever people do. Let's go do dumb shit. I don't give off that energy. But that don't mean that I'm weak. That don't mean that I ain't been through shit that everybody else ain't been through. The so-called alpha or, or the gangster or whatever the fuck you want to say. Whatever you want to say. That don't mean I don't have that same heart or the same nuts. Maybe I like peace. But see, these women don't want you to be peaceful. They want you to sell to your soul. And it's not them. Sub they're doing it subconsciously. The devil works through them. Basically... I'm not going, I'm going to make women be attracted to bullshit in men so I can get the men so, right? And the woman so at the same time. Because the men that are attracted to bullshit are going to be on bullshit, but they're also going to attract the women. And we all know women are emotional. So once they're destroyed by being emotional and liking the wrong guy, once a good girl's gone bad, she's gone forever. More forever. Now I got to live with the fact I'm going to be alone forever. Why? Because this is what you see all over the globe. And I'm not selling my soul. I'm not changing who I am. I'm not like Brittany Renner say, every, every woman want to talk about fitting themselves in the fucking box. Well, I'm not fitting myself in the box, in the so-called bad boy box. To be light, I don't got to. And I still, even that coming across as a good dude, I still get you to say but nine times out of ten, if they find out that I'm not on some bullshit, they'll probably go away. Or they find out that I'm willing to only explore one woman at a time, they'll probably flake. Because you got to remember, um, just because a woman just met you don't mean it stop. There's men in their face every day. So the devil going to do, see, once you like, let's say you're a good dude. And you like a woman, right? You've been liking her for a couple months. The devil knows that. Ah, he likes her. Now, let me send the chatter Tyrone her way so I can hurt her and him in the process. And you can flip this shit vice versa. It could be a woman liking a man. Let me send that big booty, booty, whatever fetish he got girl his way now. Since she, since she likes him now, let me send some more his way. And that's why men got rotations in the first place. And they're going to bite. They ain't going to say, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm just going to uh, deal with one woman at a time and explore my purpose. They're not going to do that, man. Because if they do, women are going to sense the fact that she's the only one. And she's going to lose attraction. Because the game's over. I won. 
It's evil, but that's the truth. But guess what, man? Keep doing that. Keep letting women that you like know you like them so you can weed out the bullshit immediately. Don't be playing around and, and oh, I'm gonna act high value and I'm not gonna text her right away and this and that. Don't do that. And if you're a guy just looking to have a rotation, go ahead. That's you do y'all. I don't judge nobody. It'll work. It'll work. Act like you don't care about a woman. I promise you it'll work. Ignore her. I promise you it'll work. But if you do everything right, she's gone. Not all. We know it's not all. But women who are mainly, um, how can I say this, more influenced mentally by the devil, she gone. As soon as, as soon as the devil know he, you, you're hooked on that woman, he gonna take that woman away with another man. He gonna send another man her way because we know they coming, right? And he gonna hurt both of them in the process. That's how the devil get down. And he does it with women, vice versa, y'all. If you don't know these tactics, you're either going to get hurt by choosing, by, by leaving somebody good for somebody dumb, right? Or get hurt because you didn't see the, you didn't see the train coming. You didn't see the writing on the wall. You know what? They're about to play me. Let me, let me get the fuck back. It won't hurt as bad if you know, right? But back to the cheating shit, man. I used to think growing up, yeah, man, don't cheat on a woman, blah, blah, blah. And I still believe that if it's a woman, if it's a woman from God, I believe this, right? You can't lose if it's a woman from God. If you do what's right, ain't no way that you're gonna lose with a woman from God. Cause she can't be penetrated by the devil. Her mind cannot be printed, penetrated. Remember, when it comes to who's a good woman and a bad woman, all it is is a, it's a daily basis thing. A woman has to choose to be good. And she will choose to be good who she chooses to want to be with. And she gonna be bad to who she wants to be bad with. So there's really no such thing as good woman, bad woman. It's a choice. Just like there's no such thing as good man, bad man. It's a choice, really. I can be a player if I want to, right? Or I can be a guy that just wants one woman. It's my choice. Like I said, are you gonna choose good or evil? You're gonna get women by the devil if you do that, and you're gonna get a woman by God. And that woman is nothing. These other ones ain't gonna compare to her, man. But a lot of y'all, what y'all doing is, I'm gonna play with these women for now, and then I'm gonna get her. You're doing the same thing women are doing, and it's gonna cost you. You're not gonna get it in the end, because you don't deserve it. You gotta deal with karma, all the people that, all the women that you over here that you did wrong, you gotta deal with that karma. Why you think your boy Jay-Z said he's scared for all the women he played in that song cry? Because he know, damn, when I now I like a woman, and it might come back. It might come back. But everybody want to claim that they want to be bosses and on their purpose and all that. But then they add in the kryptonite poison. What is the kryptonite poison? Trying to deal with a whole bunch of women and have rotation. That's kryptonite to your purpose. It's so much better to find a solid ass woman that's really gonna help you with your purpose and be on her purpose too. I don't understand why motherfuckers don't get it. But I know why they don't get it and I know why they do it because remember the title of the video is Why Are Women More Attracted to Men With Rotations? So basically, sell my fucking soul so I can get more women. Because it will work, I promise y'all. If you ignore women, you treat them like shit and you have rotation, you're gonna be basically God. Especially if you got money, you look decent, it's a wrap. It's not that they don't like the good guy. You just don't excite them. You don't, you don't stimulate their mind. There's no mystery because you're text, you're, you're doing what's right. Oh shit, she texts me, the phone's in my hand, let me text her back. Versus, nah, I don't wanna text, I'm gonna play like I'm busy right now, I got a business and shit. The woman's going there, why didn't he text me back? Why didn't he text me back? Versus the guy that's always gonna text her back. She starts to become accustomed to that and say, he's gonna hit me back anytime I want. He's there, he ain't going nowhere. 
same way they do with, the same way they do universally with good men. He ain't going nowhere. Let me go fuck everybody real quick and then come back to him later in life. It's the same thing. It's just on a different level. You know what I'm saying? I'm not making this shit up to y'all, man. And men do it too. I'm going to be a player for now. I'm going to keep the devil's rotation for now. And then in the end, I'm going to try to get the woman God got for me. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. You can't have two masters. Which brings me to another thing. Women cannot um, serve two masters either. They're not good. They can't. So if a woman's acting funny, there's another guy, man. I don't give a fuck what you say. Because a woman will just cut your ass off, if anything. But but she but she want to keep you around because of attention and comfort and all that shit in case he fucked up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because she know he going to fuck up. But she's attracted to that, man. They're attracted to the thrill. The unknowing. I don't know what this motherfucker going to do next week. He blew up a house last week. I don't know what the fuck he going to do this week. But you the good guy. Now he's just on his purpose trying to make a better life for me and my fucking family. But you know what? That don't make my pussy wet or nothing. I don't want that. I don't want that, God. Give me what the devil got. And then I'm going to cry to you later in life about where's the men at? Where's the good men at from God? He already sent them. You didn't want them, remember? Why didn't you want them? Because you was in your prime and everybody, the devil threw everybody in your face. Until the devil realized, you know what? Now it's time to pull that plug. She's about to, she getting close. She's up in age now. Let me pull the plug and, and send these men at other women. It's a setup. That's all it is, man. It's a setup for you to fall and bump your fucking head in the end. It's evil versus good, man. Stop looking at it as just women and men running around doing shit, man. It's a fucking, it's, it's, it's evil, it's spirits, it's spiritual warfare, man. It really is. People are doing people evil. You, any, any woman and man walking this fucking earth has the ability to be a good person and do what's right. That don't mean they gonna do it though. That don't mean that a woman who has ability of being a, a, a queen white is going to be that. Nine times out of 10, no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna be a bad bitch. Why? Because it rewards them. Just like the men get rewarded, women do too. Let me show this off and that off and, and show my ass or whatever or be a bad bitch. Let me fuck him and not, not make him wait and all this shit. And men usually chase women who ignore them more too than women who are there. It's facts. Because if the woman's there, well, I already got her. You know what I mean? I ain't really tripping on her too much. Let me get some other ones. It's human nature, man. Or, man, she got standards, man. She ain't gonna just let me run over her like a, a, a doormat. I don't, I don't want her. She's too hard, man. Even though, let's just say this, hypothetically saying, this woman, um, this woman makes you wait. And she's not purposely doing it, but this is who she is. She makes you wait a little bit versus the one that don't. Most men are gonna go to the one that don't. And cry on Facebook, there's no good women in the world. They all fuck everybody because you want the ones that fuck everybody. You love the ones that fuck everybody, dog. You don't want the solid ones. You run from them. Just like the women do. Because it's not in you to want right. It has to be in your spirit to desire what's right in a woman. And this is another reason why men, when they, when, who, you know, so-called, these men that, that treat women like shit, that women claim are so masculine and alpha, they really beta. The reason why they treat you like shit is because they're scared for you to build yourself up. Because once you build yourself up, you're going to build up the confidence. And once you build up the confidence, you're going to realize they ain't shit. Even though you probably know it already, but you don't have the confidence. Why? Because they didn't took it from you. They said you wasn't shit. Nobody else wants you. Blah, blah, blah. And you 
bit it up, and now you don't believe you can leave this motherfucker, man. So every good man that come your way, I, I would, but you know, I, I just, I'm just stuck on him. I can't live without him. Another lie from the devil. But these men will never, you want men who are confident in so-called alpha, like y'all say, they, they want their woman to be great. They not scared of her leaving somebody else because they realize, man, I helped this woman build up to be, even though she did it herself for, for the most part, she's gonna realize that I was there, that I bring the best out of her. I helped bring the best out of her. She, why would she leave that? Plus a solid ass woman ain't no dummy. Like Jay-Z said, if my girl leave me, she gonna leave me for something. She ain't gonna leave me for nothing. Because he got a solid ass woman. When you got a solid ass woman, you ain't got to worry about, oh shit, I text the wrong text and she got another dick in her mouth next tomorrow. Because I said something on the wrong one to text. Or because I came across as if I cared. So now her panties are dried up and she's fucking another man. You ain't got to worry about that with a solid woman. You know why? Because even if you did dry her panties up for being so called wanting her and, and she didn't like it or something, she not gonna just hop on the next motherfucker like that. Solid women ain't, they can handle being alone for a little bit. They don't have to have a boyfriend or a rotation of every fucking existence of life. They can do it, that don't mean they gotta do it. Just like I can do it, that don't mean I got I should do it. Any woman can have a role to, I, I hate when some women say, I, your man want me and all the men want me. Man, any woman can get men because you got a pussy, man. That don't mean you gonna get high value men because you got a pussy, there's a difference. You gonna get all kind of men, I ain't, I ain't no thing about it. But high value men have standards, man. They not just fucking anything. I didn't say men with rotations, notice that. But y'all affiliate men with rotations with high value men. Because you fail to realize that if you are a high value man, that means you care about yourself. That means you are not putting your dick in and in everything. I don't give a fuck what man says this or whoever says this. If you are a high value man, you care about yourself. You have self love. You're not just fucking anything. I don't really desire this girl, but I'm a fucker anyway. You don't even gotta do that because you can call up a girl you desire. See, it's funny how all these, a lot of motherfuckers got all these rotations, but people have not thought, took a second to think, you know what? In order to have a rotation like that, it's probably a, a it probably ain't too many quality women in that rotation. Why is this? Because most quality women are gonna sniff out Oh man, he, he not treat me. He not uh, he not treat me like he trying to make me his main. Goodbye. She gonna bounce. So how the fuck can a man have a big rotation of quality ass women? You can't. So why even bother? If you want a quality woman, right? A quality woman only wants she don't want to share you. So as soon as she sniffed that shit out, she's gone. They don't even want men who have rotations. So as soon as she sniffs it out, she's gone. But on the other flip side, she gonna sniff out that you only fucking with her and it's gonna be a reward. Versus the women who, who aren't really high quality women and they gonna sniff out that you're not fucking with nobody else but her and they're gonna run from it. Funny how that shit works, ain't it? Same thing how the men ran from the woman who, you know, it's a good thing if a woman don't really wanna just fuck somebody that quick. Shit happens, I get it. But for the most part, let's hypothetically say she don't want to fuck somebody that quick right now. Men run from that. It's no different. Another thing you got going on is some of them feel like, let me say this. Imagine, imagine a woman saying, he must he, he wants only me, so he must not have um, any other options. What does that say about a woman who thinks that way? He must not have any options because he only wants me. About it. It should be, you know what, I know he's 
I know I'm the best choice. That's why he only wants me. That's not what they do though. They do the opposite. It, ne it never registers in their mind that maybe he only wants me because I'm the best. I'm the best. But they're insecure, so they do the opposite. Something must be wrong with him to only want me and not have a rotation. I don't want it and my pussy's dried up. That's an insecurity in women, if you ask me. When they when they desire men with rotations versus men who don't want it, that's an insecurity in women. And I just explained why. Because she feels that there's no way on God green earth that a man would just only want me. He, you know, it, nobody else must want him. There's something wrong with this. It, nobody else wants him, that's why. Nah, maybe that's not why. Maybe he only wants one woman and you it. But they don't want that, man. They don't want that. They want the one that wants five, 10, 20 women. And then that's another thing that Satan is dealing with with them. Dog. But a, a woman of God wants that because that's a, a moral and value, right? So the moral and value, the moral of the story is be, be good and in the end you will get the what God wants, man. And God will protect the, the, the women that are coming after you, the, the Jezebel. God will get them out. He's, he's not. Remember, it says it. It says it even in the Bible. I, the good, the the, the sinning man will fall by the hands of the harlots. What are harlots? Basically, bad women. So the sinning man, the men that want the rotations and shit. Yeah, you. You will fall by the hands of the harlots. Child support, shot in the hotel, robbed, disease. I, I can't see my kid because she this and that. All that. But the man of God will be protected. And God got something special for you. Do not let the devil trick y'all men, man. Keep staying good. Stay on your grind. Who gives a fuck about uh, if I don't be a bad guy, they don't want me. Those are not the right women. Don't be like women and, and think, well, the, um, there's no good men. That's because they like the bad men, right? Don't be like them. Understand what you're dealing with. The Most High got you, bro. And it's going to be a sight to behold. When God puts that woman in your life, bro, you're not even going to want no rotation. You're not even going to think about it. I promise you that, man. And the same thing with y'all women, but you got to like the right motherfuckers. That's the key. You got to stop sweating the wrong ones. There's a reason why they don't like you. If you are trying to be a good woman or man, the wrong ones are not going to like you. That's just it. Even if they don't just like you because you're just not their type. It don't matter. It don't matter. Either way, don't sweat it. There's a reason for everything. But what you don't want to do is put yourself in a little box like so-called Brittany, Brittany Renner says. Put yourself in a little box and try to be, I'm going to be a bad boy and, and so I can seem alpha to women and shit. That's crazy. They don't like you, fuck them. Who gives a fuck, man? Look, they're lost. In the end, they're going to wish they, they, they gonna wish they could have a dude like you. They're just going to try to get it in the bad guy, and they never going to get it. He will never measure up because he don't want to. And they're going to hate you for it. They're going to look at you with envy because you are what they wish the guy that they desire was. It'll never happen, dog. Because he don't want to be. It's not that men can't, any man can be great, a great husband, man, any of them. But that don't mean they want to be. So if you're a woman and you're looking for a great man, remember that. It's his choice. Stop making excuses why he did this or stop hoping and praying. And I hope he changes. I hope he stops cheating. Stop. It's either he is, and stop trying to build motherfuckers. Either he is or he ain't. Somebody is, though. See, y'all trying to build people. I'm not building no woman. Either she's going to be good or she's not. Either she like me or she don't. And, and really, I don't give a fuck if she don't. It might hurt a little bit. You know what I mean? You might be a little disappointed, but in the end, who gives a fuck? Because in the end, what's meant for me will be. But I got to do my job as a man and keep building. And they're going to see that. All the all the women that, that played you and all that, they're going to see that woman. And they're going to see you with that woman. And they're going to be kicking themselves. Because they listen to the devil. And the same thing vice versa with a lot of you solid ass women. 
Dudes are gonna kick themselves later. When they done having their little rotation, they're gonna look back and like, fuck, I should've just stopped there. Right now, they not. I know a lot of y'all women be like, you gonna regret losing me, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes they not, right? But later on in life, they gonna look back. Just like the dude that could've had Beyonce and shit. He probably looking like, damn, fuck. He probably was feeling himself back then, like, man, I ain't gotta worry about it, I got a rotation, everybody on my dick, I'm the man, and now look. It's crazy, right? Don't be the bad guy, man. Don't do it, man. Don't don't bite the apple, man. Just like these women are biting the apple and falling by the sword, y'all men gotta realize that you can do it too. You could fall by the sword too. Don't think because, well, I don't receive the DNA and the sperm, and so it's not in my body forever and all this. Don't think that. Because if, if anything, you're still getting the energy from women. I don't give a fuck if you put on a million rubbers. You're still getting that energy. So if it's a bad woman, you're getting bad energy. You're getting bad spirits put in your body. Ain't no way around that one. Care how many rubbers you wear. Why you want a spirit of bad women in you? Or on you? In you, basically. But all in a nutshell, man, they're attracted to the bad guy because he, he stimulates their mind up and down like a roller coaster. And, and the good guy, he's boring to them because he doesn't stimulate their mind, right? He doesn't call the drama and then good and it's drama again. But guess what? If women only thought that maybe I can do a project to stimulate my mind. Maybe I can read a book to stimulate my mind. Maybe we can go book a trip to stimulate my mind. They don't do that though. They rather just argue with some bum and use that. You know what I mean? That's what they do. And they go regret it in the end because they don't even know why they do it. They subconsciously are doing this. They subconsciously don't know why they don't want a guy that wants them. Sometimes, yes, it's just attraction. You're not attracted to a motherfucker. Okay, fine. But a lot, sometimes it ain't. They can be attracted to the motherfucker and, and he doing everything right and they don't know why they don't want him. I just told you why. It's not It's not excitement. But it's, it, it's, it's a problem for women to even look for excitement in a man in the first place. She should be trying to live her life and make herself happy. And then that man is added to that happiness but they're not doing that and neither are a lot of you men you know how i know that's why you need a rotation that's why you even have time to have a rotation if you out here on your purpose and, and um doing shit you know living life finding things to do that's exciting ain't no fucking way that you you could have a rotation like that i don't see it ain't no way man I don't know if that's over or not. Probably not. But it was good talking to y'all, man. And um, just keep being good, man. And, and some of y'all women, y'all, you know, I'm going to be the bad bitch now, man. Being the good girl, there's no benefit. Um, we get shitted on, cheated on, and shit like that. You're right, man. And I'm, not, and I'm not here to say that it's not true. But I am here to say this. Do not fall by that sword. You got to trust God. You gotta trust that God is going to give you the, the perfect guy by you doing right. Because you're not getting it going wrong. I promise you that. You're gonna get a lot of men, ain't no doubt about it. You're gonna get a lot of attention, ain't no doubt about it. But in the end, you're gonna have to eat that shit, man. And you're not gonna like it. You're gonna be like, fuck, I wish I could just have a solid ass dude. And it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too hard. Too late, too hard. By that time, you might have kids by this motherfucker and and now now you gotta deal with drama and shit like that you it, you should you wouldn't even have to deal with it if you went the right way going to divorce court this and that ain't nobody got time for that your kid crying because they don't know what a dad is like to have a dad all this shit all because this guy was he, uh basically he seemed more exciting and this guy was quote unquote boring or no woman wanted him because he chose to be with only you. It's ridiculous, man. Y'all better wake the fuck up, man. Much love to all y'all, though, man. Stay the fuck up.